What's up, party people? Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're clicking on my video, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Audrey. I am a bodybuilder slash special needs mom slash slash stay at home mom who does lots of creative and fun things. And also I'm a minimalist and I kind of want to give you guys a home tour today of my holiday decorations and also kind of talk about living minimally and not having a lot of stuff. I'm not a lot of stuff person. And it all kind of comes because we lost everything in a fire seven years ago. And I kind of just completely changed my life and changed my perspective on life and what's important. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of my house and my decorations. My mom made these um, stockings for my kids except for not autumns because she's still working autumns, but she made those and they're my favorite. And then there's my tree. And the kids did all the ornaments. Oh, and there's our Elf McGee. <laughs> there's Duke who desperately needs to be groomed. And then here is my mantle. As you guys can see, I picked purple and I mentioned it in another video. I did all purple stuff this year for Christmas because I like to change the color up every year. That's the room up to the train. <laughs> and then I changed these, they used to be gold and I made them purple. That's, that's pretty much my living room. I will show you the staircase. But this is also on the mantle. That's actually a real garland. I get a real garland for my mantle every year and a real tree. And also I have a real wreath on my front door, which I will show you guys. You guys let me know in the comments um, if you wanna see more stuff about our elf and some silly things that she does around our house. Give me a like and let me know in the comments if you wanna see more stuff about McGee. <laughs> And I know Joe wants to show you guys. I always pull out the leaves to put in the table for Christmas Eve because we host Christmas Eve and we have a big family. So we make the big table come out. <laughs> I'll show you guys my um, front door and also my stairs. Okay, so this is the real wreath and I get a real wreath every year and I usually just make a bow and then I have that little pea thing that I stick inside. I'll take you inside. <laughs> And I usually do a small tree and another wreath in my entryway. And I did it all purple this year. I just got one of those things where you can write silly things. <laughs> I haven't thought of anything creative yet to write on there, but I will. And then my staircase, just did all purple. And I also did the white um, snowflakes. This is actually garland that I got for a birthday party a long time ago. And it's attached with like clear. So these are all attached. So yeah, that's it, that's the garland. It's pretty much all my decorations in my house. I'm so glad it's done. So in the spirit of Christmas, I wanted to kind of talk about living minimally and like what we do for Christmas and all those kinds of things. And as you tell in the video, I wear like pretty much the same thing every single day, a black tank top, a sports bra, and yoga pants or leggings. <laughs> I'm really, really simple. I'm a simple person. And I kind of always been that way. I'm more about being comfortable and I don't really care about looking cool, you know, and trying to be trendy and trying to keep up with the trends. Like I do like to buy things to look nice in for special occasions, for Christmas, Thanksgiving, for if I'm gonna go out on a special thing for my birthday or whatever, I wanna look nice. Don't get me wrong, I wanna look nice and I do like makeup, but I don't really care so much about having so much stuff and trying to impress people with stuff. I think a lot of people do that because they're insecure and they don't want people to see their true self so they put on this facade that they're better than they really are. So that, that's just my personal opinion. Not everybody's like that that does that, but that's just my personal opinion on the matter. I also kind of feel like we're brainwashed into thinking we need all this stuff as consumers. And personally, it doesn't make me happy. And I mean, if it does make you happy and having all these brand name things and having all this junk makes you happy, more power to you. It doesn't make me happy. And I realized that after I literally lost every single thing I possessed. And I realized stuff is just stuff. For those of you that haven't followed me a long time, I will put in the description our fire story and like what happened and all that stuff. Cause I know I'm gonna get some questions about that. So I will link that in the description below so you guys can kind of be up to date on what happened seven years ago to us, so yeah. Okay, so if you're more of a minimalist, I would say for Christmas presents especially, there's like a rule of things you can get. One would be an experience like concert tickets or 
a trip somewhere or something like that. The second thing I would be is creating something together or they can create something like to draw with or to create something creative or like maybe to go to like one of those art studios and like do some art or something like that. And that could also be with an experience. Um, the other thing I would say is something to read and then something fun that they really, really want. Cause I'm not like evil. It's not like I'm not gonna get my kids stuff. Like video games, I do get them and they do have video game consoles and stuff like that. But I just try to have meaning behind the gift and not just get them a bunch of crap, you know? Like if, if, if you get more than five presents, I feel like it's just extravagant. It's just ridiculous. Like 10 years from now, is a kid really gonna remember that? No, they're gonna remember the experiences you had together as a family. They're gonna remember the traditions. They're gonna remember laughing and they're gonna remember inside jokes and they're gonna remember things you did together. They're not gonna remember, oh, I didn't get this robot for Christmas, <laughs> you know, like, and that's the truth. And if you don't have those other things and all you have is stuff, that's kind of sad. Getting to the root of why I changed my mentality is like I said, because of the fire, when you lose everything and you only have each other, you really realize what's important in life. And it's not trying to impress people and it's not having tons of stuff and having a brand name car and having fancy clothes and fancy shoes and all this stuff. It's about the experience uses you share with others. It's about spreading love. It's about, you know, and spending your time doing the things you love doing. And so that's why I changed my mentality about it. So I absolutely love the tradition of Elf on the Shelf. And if you guys want to see more about Elf, our Elf on the Shelf, like leave a comment or hit the thumbs up so I know. Um, we love the tradition and I know my kids will remember it forever. And some people get so annoyed with it and they think it's stupid and all this stuff. But for me and for my kids, it's magical. It's fun. It makes it fun. And that's traditions like that are what make Christmas magical, in my opinion. Um, I think they're gonna remember the silly things and they're gonna appreciate it once they're grown up. They're gonna know. We have other traditions, just like every family. We, we go look at Christmas lights and we get hot chocolate and we play Christmas music and we just act silly and we have inside jokes and we just have a great time together. We're spending time together is really what the holiday is about. Spending time with your family all your crazy family, because <laughs> we all have crazy families, let's be real. <laughs> I think I might get comments about decorating my house being extravagant and um, not really being minimalist, but I don't think that's true because I think something that brings you joy, something that brings you passion or makes you passionate and something that you're passionate about and something that you really truly love and enjoy. Like I love to decorate and I love to be creative and I love creating things and that brings me joy. I don't think that that's, considered like a consumer type thing. That's something you're passionate about. And that would be like makeup too. I mean, if it's something that you feel like you can't live without that is part of your identity, then more power to you. You do whatever makes you happy in your minimalist type of lifestyle, if that makes sense. I think the minute you're trying to go into it, trying to impress others is when it becomes consumerism. Does that make sense? And I don't wear makeup to impress anybody else. I really don't. I do it because it makes me happy and I like the way I look with it. And I like to do my hair because it makes me happy and I like the way I look. You know, it's not to, to, press, to impress anybody else. And I think if you're going out in life to do things to impress other people, that's when it's not good. <laughs> I think it's something I'm working on every single day as a person to be more minimalist and to live a more minimalist life because it does make me happier. And it does give me more joy to not just spend, 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 spend. Not to mention, if you are on a budget, <laughs> you can't spend, 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 spend. And sometimes the people that are the most happiest are the people that don't have a lot of money, the people that have a simple life. I think ever since I watched this documentary called Happy, and I think it's still on Netflix if you guys wanna check it out, it was really about people that are so happy and they literally have nothing but each other. And it was so uplifting and it was so like profound. It was like I had an epiphany. I was like, I wanna be like that. Also, I will say the number one reason I probably am the way I am now is because I got sober and I mentioned this almost in every single video, but I finally learned how to feel instead of trying to 
hide how I feel with drinking. I didn't want to just drink it away and not deal with it and not be able to say how I feel or not be able to feel things when I'm feeling them. Because like I always say, I feel big and I don't know how to feel any other way. So I think once I got sober, I started to feel things and I started to realize things and I started to see things for what they really were, not what, the, what I wanted them to be. And I think it's, it's really, really important because even you're gonna see everybody differently when you get sober. You're gonna see people as who they really are and some people you're gonna be like, why was I ever friends with them? And then you're gonna eliminate them from your life. And you're gonna see people that you realize were really amazing people and you bring them into your life. It's just crazy when you start to see the world differently because you get your head on straight. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically what my minimalism is about. It's basically, I've realized so much about myself emotionally and I just, I am much happier living this way. And my minimalism isn't just about stuff. It's also about people. It's also about eliminating the people that don't bring you joy. Eliminate the people that suck the life out of you, that are draining and negative and just downright evil. Cause some people, they have a lot of growing to do and there's nothing you can do to help them. You just need to worry about yourself and the positivity that you bring to the world. And you can't focus on trying to help people that don't wanna be helped. And so that's also what my minimalism is about. It's about eliminating the bad people in your life that can't bring you any joy or any positivity or any kind of good things. I think I have a clear mind of what I think is important. And I think that's basically what it comes down to. And family is the number one important thing. And spending time with your loved ones is the number one important thing. And everything else is not important. I mean, obviously you need to have a roof over your head. You need to have food on your table. You need to have clothes on your back. But that's freaking it. Enjoy life. Don't just worry about crap. You don't need crap. There's too much crap in life. I have a peace of mind because I chose to change my life and I think that's another thing is I got sober, I started going to therapy, I started working on myself and I started to see things for what they really were and stop trying to pretend I was something else, stop trying to be something I wasn't and just be happy with who I was. And that took a lot of work, it took a lot of dedication, it took a lot of introspection, is that the right word? <laughs> Looking within and I mean it, it takes work to get here, it takes a lot of work and I am so happy to say that I'm four years sober and I'm so happy to say I've continued to work on myself and I want to help others. And I think that's now how I feel. I don't feel like I need to impress anybody. I feel like I want to help others because I know how it feels to be on the other end of that. I know how it feels to be drinking away your life and not spending time with your loved ones and ignoring the ones around you and being negative and feeling sorry for myself and wishing I had so-and-so's life. and. I know how it feels to be in those places because I used to be like that. I used to be like, I wish I didn't have a special needs daughter. It's not fair. You know what? It isn't fair. Life isn't freaking fair. But you just have to suck it up and deal and be positive about all the things in your life that you do have that are wonderful and great because nobody has a perfect life. Nobody has everything going for them. You know, people struggle and that's, I think, the hugest thing I've learned and I want to help others. If you guys, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to talk more about this topic and also I kind of want to talk more about my sobriety, but I want to let you know, let me know in the comments or hit the like button to let me know what you guys think and if what you want to see. Cause I honestly, I'm an open book and I'll share with you whatever you want. I want, I'm here to help people heal. I'm here to help people get therapy. I'm here to help people get sober. I'm here to help you with whatever you're struggling with because I have been there and I know how it feels. And it is the scariest, loneliest place. And sometimes we're afraid. We're afraid of change. Everybody's afraid of change, but it's, worth it. It is so worth it for your own sanity, <laughs> for your own well-being, to be a better mom, to be a better parent, to be a better sister, to be a better friend, all of those things. You have to decide you're done living the cycle. You're done living the same cycle over and over and over because you know what that cycle is? That cycle is insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome. It's time to change your life. It's time to get your head on straight. It's time to 
become a better you. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. Also subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Lots more videos to come. I have creative stuff coming and stuff about autumn. So thank you so much for watching.